guys, today we'll talk about casual dating. So what's the point, you may ask? On dating profiles in 2022, you might see a lot of people who are looking only for casual dating, meaning sex with no strings attached. And you might have mixed feelings about it, but it's a reality we live in. So casual dating can sometimes lead to a serious relationship and can be one of the early stages of a relationship. But in other situations, people choose to keep things casual because they specifically don't want anything more than that. So in this video, we'll break down casual dating and how to have fun without having your feelings hurt. Guys, it's really important to me to see that you like my stuff. Please don't forget to subscribe and push the like button. And let's get started. Even though for some people casual dating is unacceptable, there are still some benefits. So first of all, you get to have romance without the commitments. So you have someone to hang out with in your free time and do couple and relationship things. So you can date multiple people at the same time and have regular sex. So you can enjoy dating someone without having to share your whole life with them. And plus, you can enjoy spending time with someone you find fun to be around, even if they are not your perfect fit long term. So you might find out you really like each other and decide to enter into a more serious relationship. But honestly, it doesn't happen too often. But it also comes with some risks. For example, one person may start to form real romantic feelings and the other person may not feel the same way. Miscommunication can cause misunderstanding and hurt feelings. Some people may use casual dating as an excuse to be careless. And if your relationship isn't exclusive, there might be a higher risk of getting sexually transmitted diseases. There is also a possibility for jealousy if one or both parties are also dating other people. So it's complicated and not all casual relationships end well because of high expectations and misunderstanding. So here there are some essential tips for successful casual dating. So first of all, tell your partner exactly what you want from this relationship. So your relationship with someone, whether it's a one-night stand or a marriage, will be pretty f***ed up if you can't be as honest as possible. Just because you are keeping things casual doesn't mean you don't need to define the relationship. So be as explicit in your communication as possible. So what are the boundaries? What actions or expectations would be crossing the line? So give each other space to voice any needs, any discomfort, or any suggested changes. Just because things are casual doesn't mean you shouldn't care about each other's feelings and needs. Be honest with yourself. It's a good idea to think about what you want from your dating experiences so you can communicate that with your casual partners. So people sometimes like the idea of casual relationship but they don't actually enjoy it once they're in it. So you might agree to casually dating someone just because you like them that much. It's important to be real with yourself about whether casual dating really meets your needs. And it's totally fine if the answer is no. Be honest with yourself about why you are pursuing this kind of relationship, especially if you are monogamous. Not everyone may align with your definition of casual dating, and that's totally fine. So find the people who are down to have the type of casual relationship you are looking for, and be okay with saying goodbye to people who aren't on the same page. Communicate if things aren't going as planned. If you realize that you are not getting what you want from a casual dating experience, you can see something. Maybe you've actually developed more serious romantic feelings. Or maybe you just feel like your casual partner is being a little too flaky or disrespectful. Or maybe your casual partner is asking for too much of your time. Or maybe you want to try something new in sex. This is casual. 
So you don't have to pretend like it's okay if it's not okay. But your partner will never guess until you say about it out loudly. Set boundaries and stick to them. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but if you are seeing someone three plus times per week and leaving a toothbrush at their place, you've bypassed the casual dating. So give yourself a routine. For example, seeing each other one time per week or book a certain day. Don't make future plans beyond a few days. If you want someone to hang out with on Saturday night, it's totally okay to make plans a day or two in advance, but anything more than that is getting into relationship territory. Also, you can easily meet someone else before you see them again, so you don't want to be tied to the plans. Casual relationship is about, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Or, hey, what are you doing tonight? Not about, let's celebrate Christmas together. See other people. If you are dating one person exclusively, no matter how casual you want to keep things, they can stay that way for long. I'm not saying you have to go out and bang everyone you can, unless that's what you want to do, in which case, go for it, be safe, have fun, do you. But add a little diversity to maintain a safe distance from that one person. You know it's casual and it's not going anywhere, so go on the gates, See what else is out there. Maybe you will meet a partner for a more serious relationship. Or maybe you will meet someone else for casual but with a bigger dick or better sex skills. So don't limit yourself, no matter how much you like spending time with that one person. Go out. When you are casually dating, make sure you actually go out on dates. See a movie, eat at the restaurant, play pool or go to the bar. A casual dating relationship is all about enjoying the experiences with someone new in your life. So take this piece of casual dating advice and get out of your house. Home activities are not a part of casual dating. They are the signs of coupledom or a person who simply doesn't want to spend money on going out with you. So even though it's casual, make it fun and interesting time spending with a cherry on the cake, good sex after going out. Keep it off social media. Yes, we all use Instagram, but for casual dating, better you two don't exist on social media for each other. So before you snap a peek of the cute cocktail that you ordered with him, don't tag him on this. You don't know what else is going on in your partner's dating life and you don't want to make anyone confused or misled. Make sure you are on the same page about sex. Have the important conversations. If you are going to be hooking up with someone, talk to them about getting tested. Use condoms and other barrier methods because you are not confident about your partner. You can't be 100% sure that your partner uses protection with other people he dates casually or during one night stands. So besides, all your sexual desires you can address here as well. So that's the idea of this relationship. And if there is something you want to try in bed or if there is something you don't want to do, be straightforward about it. Keep the chatting to a minimum. Sending good morning or memes are cute in a relationship. But when you are just dating someone casually, not that much. So text them when you want to make plans, but don't text them about what's going on in your life, at your work. For this, we have friends. Avoid casually dating people from your circle. Casual dating works best if you are with someone who is easy to cut ties with. When your casual thing ends, you don't want to randomly run into them at your best friend's birthday party. So go for someone in a different circle from yours and if you don't want to be afraid of finding yourself in a very uncomfortable position. Personal favors are no-go. That means you call someone else when you plan to move or need someone to watch your cat while you're out of the town. Casual relationships don't have those kinds of expectations, so don't make it heavy. It's supposed to be fun and easy. Don't take them as your plus one. Weddings and parties are for meeting new people to casually date, 
not bring in someone who you're just banging to interact with your friends and family. Go solo to these events and be open to new opportunities. Introduce them to your friends only in very specific scenarios. You don't have to hide these people, but you should be pretty selective about who you introduce them to. Intimate dinner, parties with your besties? No. Road trip or party festival? Maybe. But it's always better to keep it separately to avoid questions from your friends if things don't work out. I would say introduce only people who have been there for a while and there are no signs it's gonna end anytime soon. Refrain from visiting your regular spots with them. Places where you go with your friends or by yourself quite often. You should definitely not bring someone to those places if you don't plan anything long term. So imagine worst case scenario, you cool now and having fun, but once things end, your casual ex and you run into each other at your favorite cafe. Why would you need this? Check in often. After you establish a casual dating relationship with someone, it's helpful from time to time to check in and make sure everyone is feeling good about what's happening. It can be as simple as asking over dinner or in bed, hey, how are you feeling about spending time together? I'm really enjoying keeping things this way, how about you? No jealousy, please. If you happen to see on social media that your casual date is seeing other people, you have to be cool with it. The same is true for them with your dating life. And if you start to notice that someone you are seeing is getting jealous and asks questions he's not supposed to ask, shut it down real quick. There is no place for that in casual dating. Don't say that you love this person. It's very easy to feel attracted to someone you are having sex with or spending time too often. If you feel like saying I love you because they make you feel so good, hold that song. Saying those three words will take your relationship to a whole new stage, or it may even end the relationship for good. Love is not sex and sex is not love. If you catch serious feelings. No matter how hard you try to keep things casual, your feelings might take an unexpected turn. So it's important to tell the truth. You might find out that they develop similar feelings. Even if they don't feel this way, keeping it as a secret can eventually hurt you and waste a lot of your time. So better end it earlier than later. Don't be a control freak or be controlled. Often one partner ends up giving their control to the other partner who calls the shots or avoiding seeing each other. So don't agree to anything they say only because you are afraid to drive them away. If you feel like they are pulling the strings, walk away. Respect each other. Casual dating is not in any way should be associated with the lack of respect for each other. It's not negotiable in any relationship. Behave like you want people to behave with you. It is important to treat your casual partner with the same respect and kindness you would treat any other individual. Focus on other stuff in your life. Relationships take a ton of mental energy, but guess what? You are not dealing with the one right now. So use that energy that you would have spent on relationship and put it towards work, school, or just doing whatever else you are into. Become a better version of yourself and invest in yourself your education, your appearance, whatever it is. As soon as you are in harmony with yourself and love yourself, you will see how many people are attracted to you and maybe among them there will be some better candidate for the long term. Don't ghost. Casual doesn't mean insignificant. Dropping a partner without the word is not only rude and unkind, but it can also cause a lot of stress and confusion. They might wonder if something happened to you. If you don't want to keep dating someone, just tell them in person. You can keep it brief and honest without going into the detail. If you absolutely can't bring yourself to do this, a phone call or text is better than nothing. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time in Bad Risky.